Hello everyone, I am Shreyesh and I scored 98% in classroom boards the previous year. Now, I am on a mission to help you all cook your academics. In this video, I am going to tell you how to master physics, how to master class 10th physics. In my previous video, a lot of you commented that you want a separate video for physics. And in this video, I am going to share you, share with you some useful, very useful tips of physics that will just help you max your score in science. And trust me, these few minutes will change the game for your science boards exam. Starting this video. Tip number one is, there are a lot of formulas in physics and they are quite important. So just memorize them, right? No, you have to understand how and why these formulas work. And this thing, this how and why, will give you edge over competency and real life application based questions. Second tip is make a formula notebook. Write all the formulas of class 10 physics in that notebook and revise it regularly. Everyone tells you this tip but the next tip is what no one tells you. And the third tip is you all practice questions but can you solve all the questions when you practice? Because sometimes you come across a lot of tricky questions and to solve those tricky questions you need a separate approach. And how do you develop those approaches is by solving tricky questions. So whenever you come across a, a tough question, a tricky question, write it in a separate notebook. And trust me, this tip is going to help you a lot. Because once you go for exam, there are some questions that are of quite new type. And by writing the tricky questions in your notebook, you develop a new approach. You develop an approach ki how to answer those tricky questions how to solve those tricky questions and this approach will help you solve those new type of questions and these new type of questions are the questions which separate a 97 98 scorer to cross that 99 line yes and once you start writing tricky questions in a separate notebook you can score a full on full marks in science Tip number four is numericals. A lot of you find difficulty in solving numericals because you don't have the approach to how to handle numericals. And now I'm going to tell you how to handle, how to solve your numericals. The first point is that read the question two times and then highlight or underline the important lines. Like there is a line under constant temperature. Write the answer in SI unit. These are the important lines. And these lines make you do silly mistakes. Even if you know the answer, these lines, these are the tricky lines that make you do silly mistakes. By highlighting the, by reading the question twice and highlighting these lines, you can go away. You can just don't conduct the silly mistakes. Second point is that write what is given in the question and what you have to find in the question. And this has dual benefit. First of all, it has marks in the marking scheme. You get marks for writing that. And the second benefit of that is you can identify which formula suits the best to solve this question. Which formula you have to use to answer this question. Now, try to remember the formula that has the most number of given things in it. For example, in the question, Potential difference V and I current is given. So you have to find resistance. So find which formula relates the best or relates V, I and R the best. And that formula is Ohm's law. V is equal to I, R. And this way you know how and which formula you have to put in the answer. You have to use in the answer. Now always check the units, the units in which in which are given in the given things and the unit in which you have to answer the question. Always do unit conversion and include SI unit in your answer. This will make a great impression towards the examiner. But you cannot depend on this approach to solve difficult and tricky numericals. You have to master numericals and how do you master numericals is to solve as many questions as you can. And we all know that NCERT does not have that vast variety of questions. It has a limited set of questions that everyone solves. But to stand different from the rest of the crowd, you have to solve as many questions as you can. And generally, for science, 
you cannot just read theory and go into the exam and expect full marks you have to practice a lot of questions for that to cook your to actually cook your exams but ncrt does not have that number of questions what to do you the best book currently in the market that you can use to practice questions is the educard one shot book because it has a variety of quality questions and when i say quality questions i mean competency based questions application based questions previous year ncrt exemplar new category of questions and countless essays and reason questions one thing i like the most about this book is that it has a marks distribution chart to each and every question and this tells you how to write answer in your boards restricting you from losing those one to two marks that you always lose due to your bad answer writing skills what makes this book different from other books in the market is that it has questions arranged in the form of difficulty wise levels easy moderate and tough questions it helps the student to check his preparation and know where he stands currently during his board's preparation journey and look you cannot just read the theory and score 100 in science you have to practice questions and this educard one shot book is currently the best book in the market to achieve 100 out of 100 in science to practice a lot of questions currently the best part is that educard has just launched 40% discount on all of its books and this limited time discount is only applicable till 14th of july so i would suggest you to make your decision by 14th of july and make the best out of this deal and if you want to make the difference by buying this books then do check the link in the description box that avail the 40% discount on this books now our next point is that practice ray diagrams and circuit diagrams regularly and repeatedly as they are very important they help you have that concept to solve numericals circuit diagrams help a lot in solving numericals and also practice ray diagrams they also help a lot in solving numericals related to the chapter light now diving into some mark specific strategies starting with mcqs we can divide mcqs into three parts easy moderate and tough questions easy questions include factual knowledge moderate questions we have small numerical type questions you can easily solve that and the third that is the tough questions we have um, circuit diagram questions picture based questions and some competency level questions they are the tricky questions for that you have to practice and how you will practice is by solving ncrt exemplar pyqs or the educard one shot books now for two marker questions we have direct questions like definition based questions define ohms law define one volt define one ampere and so on and so on define power these things you can easily solve them they are just memorized definitions or you make your own definitions for three and five marker questions um, there are derivations of resistance series and parallel connection and then there are numericals competency based questions and real life application questions you have to practice a lot to do those type of questions and one thing i would like to tell you is that include steps and write the correct measurements in units in your answers and this step will help you secure those half half marks that you will lose by not writing those steps now that's it for the video if you have some more doubts related to class 10 science or any other subject just comment it down in the comment section i will surely reply to all your doubts don't forget to buy the educard one shot books from the link below till then stay connected stay hard bye